I'm about to paint the town red tonight. What the heck does that mean anyway? Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the paint designer in Power Director 17. If you're going to use the paint designer in your next video, I want you to put hashtag paint perfection in the comment section below. All right, Power Director peeps, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Let's not draw this out any longer than we have to. Using the paint designer in Power Director, you can draw text, shapes, lines, or pictures and overlay them on clips in the timeline to create unique assets for your videos. This is a great tool to help make your video stand out from the rest. And in this video, I'm gonna show you just how to use the paint designer to make it happen. As you can see, I have a clip in the timeline of a map. This is an image and you can use videos or you can use pictures for this. Just keep in mind if you use a video, it's just gonna be on a specific frame in that video. It will not play the video when you do your animation. Now, brother's about to take a short day trip and I wanna track the path from San Antonio to Houston. Now. As you can see on the timeline, this is a 15 second clip. I changed the duration of 15 seconds because I want to have 10 seconds of the clip to be animated to play back whatever I'm gonna draw. And in the last five seconds, I want it to be a freeze frame of my finished drawing. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. Now, there's a few ways to get to drawing these uh, images on your videos. You can go up here to plugins, you left click on that, and then you can come down here to Paint Designer and it'll open up the tool. Or you can go to the plugins icon here and you can left click on that. And you can go down to Paint Designer and it'll open up the tool. Third and last way is you can go to the Video Overlay Room or PIP Objects Room. If you left click on that, it'll open up that room. And then up here, there'll be a little pencil that will take you to the Paint Designer. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna open up the Paint Designer and get cracking. Now the first section that we have when we open up the paint designer is tools. So there's four different tools you can use here. You have a pen. So this is what the pen looks like. You have a crayon. This is what the crayon looks like. You have chalk. So this is what chalk looks like. And then you have your eraser. So you can use this to erase things that you place on here, All right? So I'm gonna click on edit and clean the canvas to get rid of all of that and remove all those things off of there. Now, right now you see that I have red selected as my pen tool and I could change the width of that with this slider here. Or I could type it in or use the arrow key to change the size or width of the brush. Then you have the colors, so I can choose different colors by using the uh, color dropper. Just tap it on the color I wanna use. Or I can go ahead and click on the select brush color, which is here. And I can select from this palette, choose more colors. I wanna choose red and click okay. Or I can switch back and forth between the recent colors that I picked just by clicking on the colors here and changing the color to that color. So if you're using a lot of different colors and you want to switch back and forth, then you can use this for that. It's a great tool for that. So the next section is the reference frame. So the reference frame right now is the image that I was clicked on when I went into the paint designer. But if I want to remove this and just have a transparent background, I could just uncheck this and now I can just draw to my heart's content on here. Right now it's on the eraser. So I can draw to my heart's content on here if I want to. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean the canvas off again. 
or I could bring the map back up. I can pick something in the timeline, which is the default, and that is the map that I have. But if I wanted to use something different, I can click on from clip. And if I do that, I can go to my uh, hard drive, external hard drive, anything I have hooked up to the PC, and I can choose an image or a video from wherever I want and import that into the paint designer to use that as the reference. I'm gonna click on cancel. I can change the uh, transparency or the opaqueness of the image. And the last thing I have here is my output duration. So as I stated earlier, I want my animation to last 10 seconds. So I have to change the playback duration to change my animation. So I'm gonna change this to 10 seconds. And so now whatever I draw on the screen is going to take 10 seconds to complete drawing that. But then the last five seconds of the video, I want it to freeze on what I drew. So I'm gonna change this to five seconds. And so now it'll take 10 seconds to draw it and the last five seconds, it'll be just the picture of that animation. So as you can see here, it added this freeze representation up here for these last five seconds. So now I want to draw whatever it is that I wanna draw. And what I wanna draw is a path from San Antonio to Houston. So I'm just going to place my cursor in this little circle over where I wanna start. And I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag this uh, along the route until I get to the end. And then I let go of my left mouse and it stops recording the animation. So now if I play this back, you'll see that it's going to play all the way up to this point and it will freeze on that frame for the last five seconds. So I'm gonna click on play and you see the wonderful animation, beautiful. And bam, now it's gonna stop for those last five seconds. Good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press okay so I can go ahead and name this and go back into PowerDirector. So I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna give it a name. And I'll click on okay again. And now you see that it's in my preview window and it's actually playing the preview of the drawing that I made. Now there's nothing behind it because it's really just uh, created as a overlay for anything that I wanna place it on. I can place this on any clip. So what I'm gonna do is left click it, drag it down to the timeline and put it on a track underneath the map. And now if I play it back, we will see that it's going to draw it over the top of the map and freeze for the last five seconds. All right, so we're good to go. Now, because this is just an overlay, I can go ahead and drag it and change the duration as well. So if I want it to be longer, I could. If I want it to be shorter, I could. Just keep in mind that as you do that, the perspective between the time of the playback and the time of the freeze is going to change because for 15 seconds, it got the 10 and the five seconds. But if I make it longer than that, then it's going to change the duration of the freeze frame and it's gonna change the duration of the playback relative to the time that I create for the clip after changing it. So keep that in mind. And now we all paint it up. There you have it people, how to make drawings on videos with PowerDirector 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links, so if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own. So if you want to help me help you, use all the affiliate links. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorials you'd like me to make, head over to the video description and complete my tutorial request form. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want more tips, more tricks, and more of that edumacation on Power Director, you got to watch more of my content so you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.